excuses. I'm not here to make excuses. Uh, I lost fair and square. Um, you know, the, the game plan was going just fine. I put in all my work, like I said I did. I was positive, I was sure as heck I was going to win the fight. We were doing just well, just, just fine, just perfect. I just didn't see the, the uppercut coming in. <laughs> Most punches I didn't see, I went down and uh, he hits hard, you know, so I mean, I couldn't beat the count. I mean, I got up once and just the second one, it just caught me again and just, it, was, it was over. Victor, yeah. nobody reacts to a knockout the way you do. Why yeah. are you so happy? Why are you the way you are um, after a knockout like this? I mean, what, what, can you, what can you do, you know? I've been very blessed, very fortunate to even be on a stage like this. I mean, I was out for a couple of years. Usually people disappear, huh, Coach, from boxing? People disappear from one fight. I mean, this is, technically speaking, on, on paper, it's my, my sixth defeat. Um, it's supposed to be four, or supposed to be five now. But uh, that disqualification went down as a loss. Anyways, um... You know, it's just one of those things. Uh, I don't really react like crazy about it. Like, it, it's work, man. It's work. Um, it's like you guys. Whenever you guys mess up on a report or you guys mess up on an interview, you guys, I'm pretty sure you don't beat yourself up about it. And if you do, you, be, you beat yourself up about it for maybe maybe a week, maybe less, maybe a few days, and then you move on. Thank you. Yeah. Were you uh, still hurt from the, the uppercut? For the subsequent knockdown, was were you still just hurt oh, from man, that first shot? Oh man, I was shot? buzzed. <laughs> I was buzzing. I stood up. I was like, "Oh damn, where did that come from?" Uh, I couldn't get my feet under me. So uh, uh, when he charged and they said box, I'm like still kind of in a daze. I looked at my corner to try to get direction, but uh, I just I'm, I'm the type that when I get dropped and I get up, I want to just fight. And a lot of people just usually hold or clamp, and I'm not one of those. I just go toe to toe. Victor, yep. do you want a third fight with Bertle? Could we see a trilogy? It'd be nice to do a third fight. Why not? I mean, hey, if you can do, if you can do Manny Pacquiao versus Timothy Bradley three times, four times, five times, Marquez Pacquiao ten times, I mean, I don't see why not. A third one, you know. And how soon can we see you back inside that ring? Um, as soon as possible would be awesome. I mean, I'm already in shape. I mean, I just got to heal now from the stitches I got on my head. How many stitches did you get? Coach? Uh, like you said, it was a continuous suture, so it's one, <laughs> but it just goes all the way down, so he couldn't give us a number. Yeah, it's like pretty, it was pretty deep. What happened on the way out of your uh, ring? Were you guys assaulted by the fans? Um, I don't know. This guy threw something at me, um, and then next thing you know, he tried to swing at me as well. I mean, at least he didn't hit me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Victor. Too slow. <laughs> Hey, Victor, you, yeah. you knocked down Birdo with a pretty brilliant straight left, right? Yeah. And then, um, can you talk a little bit about that punch? And then, it seemed like for the remainder of the fight, you are trying to shoot that punch right at him, and you weren't having much success. Can you talk about uh, what, what your game plan was, how you're feeling after that, knocking him down and going with that straight left? No, I just, uh, I was trying to stick to the game plan, pretty much just box him, and uh, I was doing great at it. It's just one of those things, you know, that I kept coming up short with that left. He figured out the left, and then uh, from there, just timed me just properly, correctly, and then countered. Oh, yeah, bro. I mean, uh, Ortiz. That was a great uh, fight that you put up. You know, he mentioned that you gave him his first loss, and I think that this was under his skin coming into this fight. Uh, did you see any uh, viciousness in him when you got in the ring? I saw a more dangerous Berto five years ago. Today's Berto wasn't, he wasn't the Berto he was five years ago, but hey, like I said, he still carries uh, ammo in both fists. So with that said, I mean, he'll take one punch, just like it did tonight. It could have been me, it could have been him, you know? And I landed the first left, put him down, he got up, recouped, attacked, boom, and then I attacked, I went down. So uh, it was one of those matches, though. These are, the, these are the matches that, like I said at the end of the fight, people booing, I understand that. I get it. Cool. But not one fan there sat there and lost their money because the fight sucked. Hey, it's a hell of a fight. He was going to war. I was going to war. And guess what? At the end of the day, it didn't go 12. So 
it is what it is. Victor. Yeah. Um, if there is a third match, are you prepared, or you think you'll be able to take a more defensive approach to the fight with Berto? Now, in retrospect, do you do you think you should have taken a more defensive approach? You know, I fight how I fight. I've always fought that way. I mean, the first fight was actually even more brutal than this one. Like ten times more brutal. But uh, that's just how I fight. I mean, I don't know. Defensive, non-defensive. I have a mix of both. And uh, tonight's offensiveness did not work my way. If you don't fight Berto, who else is a possibility? You know, I take on the world. I don't really make excuses. I don't run from people. I don't. I don't ever beat around the bush. I'm just open to fighting anybody. I'm that kind of guy. You know, I'm, why why protect a record that isn't has never been protected? You know, I have defeats. I have a draw. I mean, what else can you give me? Victor, what do you think it is about your style and his style that right here results in such an explosive combination? It's, with it's like uh, it's like the the saying goes: uh, styles make fights. And he and my style just we clash, man. <laughs> For Coach Haas, uh, we saw you talking to Victor after the loss. Can you tell us what you saw? Uh, right after the loss, uh, I just told him I was proud of him. I thought up until he got caught with the uppercut, the game plan was working beautiful. Uh, basically, what we were trying to do was keep turning Berto, staying on the outside of that foot, landing a lot of jabs upstairs, downstairs. I was going to set up the straight left hands and probably in the fourth or fifth round start working on the body a little bit. So I told him I thought he was doing excellent. He told me he was sad. I told him he was supposed to be sad because we wanted to win this fight. We did everything we needed to do to win this fight, and we were winning the fight, and he got caught, but I didn't want him to beat himself up. Deal with it, move on, on to the next one. Victor, so is it safe to say that your career is not over? Man, I'm not going to. Why retire, you know? Last time I said anything not even close to that, I got, oh, Victor retires. He hangs up the gloves. Now I did retire dancing from Dancing with the Stars. That was, that was something else. <laughs> Other than that, you know what? I'm going to enjoy this, man. I mean, I'm still young. Thankfully, I'm 29. Uh, I turned 29 January 31st. And, I mean, I've only had a, a handful of fights in my prime. So, I'm good. And I'm not the type of person, I mean, hey, do I go to war? Yeah. Do I take beatings? I mean, if I can't get up, no. <laughs> so... Hey, it is what it is, you know. I, I get up and I try to fight, but when my feet are not responding, then hey, I try. It's just the equilibrium's a little off. And last, well, you said you're not retiring, but do you still consider yourself a fighter first and foremost at this point of your professional career? Or I've are never other considered things? myself anything other than that. I mean, the only reason I ever did the whole acting thing was because my limbs were broken. I was healing, so. It's like you guys, when you guys mess up on something big time on a, on a report, uh, interview, whatever, I don't think you guys really stay on that particular interview. You move on, you move forward, or you go find something else to do for the time being. And then you come back to that. Same thing with me. My jaw was broken, limbs were broken, I was healing, so I took on another career, and Hollywood loved me, so... Crazy. <laughs> Victor, although... There obviously probably needs to be a third match with Berto. If that doesn't materialize right away for some reason, what are some other names that you're interested in maybe facing? And, and I mean, the whole welterweight division's packed, you know. It's a, it's a great weight class. There's some amazing champions there right now. Um, hey, the list goes on. All the top ten, why not? In Spanish, Victor, what do you say to all the fanáticos that came todos los mexicanos, mexicanos, eh, gente que habla español, que vinieron a verte el día de hoy y que se van decepcionados con, con tu derrota. Pues a toda la gente ahí de, que me vino a apoyar, mexicanos, latinos, todos, pues primero, pues diera disculpas, pero no, to, no me tengo que despedir por nada, o sea, cosas pasan y este, me agarraron con un golpe que no miré, iba ganando la pelea claramente, pero así pasan las cosas y yo aún... No se me agüite la gente, por favor, porque va a regresar más fuerte y va adelante. Right, thank you, everybody. Let's get a round of applause for Victoria. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the fight. If you guys watch replays, 
Don't watch the end. The end's kind of bad. <laughs>